All right, gamers, we're back with even more Mario RPG Masters because I quite like this ROM hack a lot. Anyways, we're gonna head over to uh, Monstro Town real quick because I have uh, something to show off. Let's just say. <laughs> And yes, I still didn't do Great Guy yet. I don't think I'm ever going to do Great Guy. I mean, I'm like, here, here's the thing, right? If I could just look at his code and figure out what he gives, that would honestly save me a lot of time. Because <laughs> uh, I'd, I'd like to know, honestly, without wasting my time. I'd also like my mouse cursor to come back, please. Because I've, um, I've looked at the code before, and I could probably have a look at it again. Unable to find ROM. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. <laughs> I know you can't find the ROM. That's okay. You know, I might do a display capture for this one. Because, uh, I know you guys probably need- you guys probably want to see it. So, we're- <laughs> we're gonna start the episode off with this, then. Fuck it. Because why the hell not? So, let me just do a bit of that. There. Actually, no, I'll put my face- I'll, I'll, I'll hide my face cam for now. Okay, so... Here's what I'm gonna show off. So, here- here's the Lazy Shell Editor, by the way. This is what I've been using this whole time. So, we're gonna open up the levels. The levels, I think. And we're gonna find Great Guy's Casino. Great Guy's Casino, yeah. We're gonna find, um... The NPCs. So it says here that Great Guy is event number 2637. <laughs> Which means we can open up the events. I guess the, just the event scripts. Yeah, so we're gonna go to event number two, 2637. Yeah. So hit left or right. Yeah. Hmm. Galaxy Blast, Cosmic Melodies, Awakenings. Um. Add a star egg. Run dialogue three three hundred thirty eight. So it is still the star egg, I think. It's item number 176. So if we look at item number 176... Yeah, it's the, still the star egg. So that we, with that, we can confirm that Great Guy still gives the star egg. <laughs> and nothing else. That's basically all I wanted to confirm. That he still gives that. So, uh, yes, I saved myself, like, 20 minutes just by looking at the game's code. Anyways, we're gonna- we're gonna go fight Jinx today. Uh, Jinx 3, which is gonna be the hardest fight. But, I can show you guys that I fixed the XOR ring. It can now be equipped. Finally. <laughs> yeah, so everybody can wear the XOR ring. I'm assuming that was the original intention, but the dev forgot to enable the fact that the XOR ring can be equipped. I looked at it in Lazy Shell, and it says that the XOR ring can't be equipped by anybody. <laughs> and it's worth, it's worth 9,000 coins or something. So, I'm gonna give it to Mario, probably. Because it basically does the same thing as the Magic Scarf, except it's better. Which means Mario's gonna be even more tanky now. Alternatively, I could give it to Mal- I don't need to give it to Mallow. And also, we have the Star Aura. So, I think everybody has, like, their ultimate equipment now. So, I think we're good for fighting, uh, Jinx 3 now. And if- depending on how I feel, I could also try and fight Qlex, but we'll, we'll see about that one. Also, do I have enough items? Yeah, I think that's enough items. We got three Star Winds. Well, we have Geno Boost, so we don't need Star Wind anyway. I also wanted to tattle Jinx because he's really funny. 
Also, he has the fucking... He has the fucking... Armed boss music. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah, the, the, the dev, he put a lot of effort into this final Jinx fight. For this funny reason alone. I got spoiled on this. He says, you're gonna die. <laughs> and he didn't even spell your correctly. That's the funniest part. Yep, 621. Simply amazing. Oh, did I break the Jinx fight? <laughs> did I break it by accident? Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Wait, he, he was supposed to have more health than that. Oops. Um... That That's not good. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Did I accidentally break the ROM? By patching it? Oh my god, my fucking mouse won't show up now. Where is it? Jesus. I think patching- I think patching the ROM actually broke it. <laughs> Hold on a second. That wasn't supposed to happen, by the way. I wasn't supposed to kill him in one turn. Maybe I can't patch the ROM then. Maybe I can't fix the XOR ring after all. Hold on, let me look at- let me look at Jinx 3. Um, so yeah, that's a problem. He's supposed to have 37,000 health, but I think since I patched the ROM, it broke his AI or something? I think so. Give me a sec. Okay, so I uh, swapped back to an older version of the ROM. I had a feeling something was going to break, so I backed it up just in case. So now, um, if I'm not mistaken, I should still be wearing the XOR ring. But I don't think anybody is allowed to wear it now. So Mario is going to be stuck with the XOR ring on him for the rest of the game because I don't feel like switching the ROMs back and forth over and over. So yeah, if I'm not mistaken, he should still have a lot of defense. So... Let's find out if Jinx is still broken or not. <laughs> I mean, obviously, he uh, still does a fuck ton of damage. So he's supposed to have 37,500 health, right? And I'm gonna tattle him again. You're gonna die. Nope, he's still broken. That's not my fault, then. That's not my fault, then. I think that's just the ROM itself is broken. It can't handle him having that much health, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> I don't know if Jinx 3 was tested or not. But... I think... what I think the problem is... Jinx has too much health that the game doesn't know what to do. <laughs> because I swapped back to the original one. Hold on, I'll, I'll prove it, I'll prove it. So I'm gonna take the XOR ring off. And now you can't put it back on. So, this is the original version. Jinx 3 is just broken for some fucking reason. I don't know why. Also, how is the Jinx spelt? Is it good? Let's just take off the Fuchsia's gem real quick. Oh no, it broke! It broke my XOR ring. Oh fuck. Am I not allowed to change my equipment then? <laughs> I can't take it off. Uh, otherwise, um If I take it if I take off Okay, hang on, hang on. Let me look at something. So that's really weird. Okay, I, I found out like a new weird ass bug. So, Mario won't de-equip the XOR ring as long as his icon isn't on screen. I think. Yeah, 
the XR ring is still on him, I think. So as long as Mario isn't on screen, it won't de-equip it from him. I just want to see how much the Jinx Belt gives. It's, um, it's vanilla, actually, I think. Because it gives... Wait, it's, it's worse. It gives t only 20 attack. The Fuchsia's Gem is way better. Okay, well, um... Don't- just never take the fish just never take the XOR ring off Mario, and you'll be fine. Well, actually, now that we know that Jinx is broken in both versions, I can probably just switch back, honestly. Because <laughs> I did- I didn't modify the ROM at that point. That was- I did not do that, so, give me a sec. Alright, so yeah, Jinx 3 is just broken. He doesn't work the way it's intended, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Dev, if you're watching this, let me know if that happens. If that's, I don't think that's supposed to happen, obviously. But let me know if I fucked something up or if he's just broken like that. Because I don't know why he that happened. Because as far as I know, Jinx has the most health out of any boss. So I think like his health is just overflowing because it can't handle that high of a number in the game's code. Because here's the thing. The, um, usually, usually these old-ass games, they have a limit of how much health they can have, or, like, how high a number can go. And usually an integer like that is, like, it goes up to, like, I think 36,000 or something. So because of the fact that he has 37,000, uh, the game's getting confused, and it's breaking when he has more than, you know, that much health. Because isn't the max, like, 36,535 or something like that? And if you have more than that, the game just kills itself <laughs> so yeah so uh backup plan uh we're gonna go fight Culex instead and yes i did sell the shiny stone and i'm still able to enter here so you just need the shiny stone to open the door which is good anyways we'll try Culex instead because jinx 3 didn't want to work And we should be way more OP, because we have, uh, the Exor Ring and the Star Aura. Which are way better. Also, Geno outsped Culex. That's also insane. <laughs> also, I feel like, um, Galaxy Blast is gonna break this fight in half. Okay, well, he still does that. Okay. No, it did not mute the it did not mute the crystals, so that's good. Problem is, I block like half their attacks because I am immune to elemental damage. Oh, and they also get multiple turns, so that's how this fight is gonna be harder. Oh, they're solidify. Yeah, Mario and Gino take no damage. Okay, miss again. I'm gonna use Star Shower. But we should probably use a Star Egg at some point. Turn order is all kinds of fuck, probably. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh no, Mallow's dead. Well, um, not a good start. Also, I have a limited number of 1-ups, so hopefully I can do this. Ionizer. Oh my god, that does a lot. Okay, I really, I really should have just fucking used the Star Egg instead of messing around like this. Is it? Yeah, um... I don't know if Mallow's gonna live all this. Oh my god, bro. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Actually, this is really bad. <laughs> why did I- why didn't I heal, bro? I'm 
Should have given the should have given the the, the the spell immunity to someone else. Okay, um, Felix is kind of kicking my ass right now. I'm gonna reset then, because I don't feel like getting into an infinite loop of reviving and dying. That just sounds like a terrible idea. Um, can I swap the Exor and Fuchsia's ring around, by the way? Those all affect an element. Why does this not block element damage? That's what I'm confused about. Well, Mario can't wear the hero- or Mallow can't wear the hero shirt. Or the hero suit, I guess. I'll, I'll swap these around, see how I feel. What is Mario's defense now, though? It's probably terrible. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's really bad. I wish I could give him the few- I wish I could give him something better, like the star gear. But I don't have Mallow's best gear, sadly. Let me just try this out. I should have bought Malo's gear, man. Why am I not? Why did I do that? I, or I could just put the, like, or I could just put a red essence on Mario. It's not a bad idea, actually. But I also need to star boost turn one. Gonna be a, this is going to be a tough fight, I can tell. Alright. Yeah, let me have these. This is the only time I'm going to use them, so we might as well, right? Alternatively... You could also just try and kill Culex as fast as possible. But, that is very unlikely to happen. Like, unless you specifically focus all your attacks on him. But then you have to deal with the crystals, and that's just, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's kind of tough to deal with. Honestly, I think this is going to be the way to go. See, his Kulex isn't broken. He he for he works just fine because his health is split out evenly among the crystals. Okay, that that actually does do damage. But I think I can live, so I'm gonna cosmic star. So if I'm not mistaken, I believe all of the crystals, all of the crystals have around eight thousand health. Yeah, they do. So, this- this fight's gonna take a little bit. <laughs> but, the fact that they all have 8,000 health equally... ...means that, um... Th it means they're all going to... ...die at the same time. <laughs> Which is a good thing. Okay, I should definitely not take any chances, I should heal. Especially if Kulex decides to, um, you know, especially if he, oh, the fuck. Okay, now I have to heal. <laughs> now I have to, because Gino's like half dead. Especially because the turn order is definitely going to be confusing, and I should definitely just take my chances whenever I get the first opportunity. Oh, okay, he's getting rid of our buffs. Which I believe also gets rid of- No, it does not get rid of my red essence. I'm thinking of a different hack. But I do need to- I, need, I do need to buff again, sadly. I do really love what they did with this fight in the remake, though. It's really freaking cool. Ooh, a thousand! Okay. If I, actually, if anything, it would probably be better to have Mario use the Star Wind, and then Gino can save a turn from having to buff. Oh, he might have to heal anyways. We'll see, though. 
If the crystals decide to use like meteor or not meteor, uh, like rock slide and shit, then um that might be a problem. But if they're just doing this shit, then we'll be fine. Yeah, that earth crystal? That earth crystal is gonna be a problem. Oh, that's also a problem when that happens. <laughs> okay, okay, I might need to heal. Okay, now I definitely need to heal. Star Egg. Even though Battle is my best person, I need to have him heal as soon as possible so he doesn't die. Okay, and Mario's Red Essence ran out, so we're gonna reapply that. We only have three of these, so we gotta last long enough. Once we can get the 12% freebie. Nah. Ooh, nice. Sadly, no 12% freebie. The those are really rare, but you can get them. Bo 31. Yeah, to be fair, I did make Mallow really tanky. That's still a problem, though. I think we can live. We're, we're fine. We haven't taken that much damage so far. Oh yeah, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> 800 with, with Gino, and then like another 1000 with Mallow. Okay, the crystals are really stupid. Okay, so now that we know that Mario gets a turn immediately after, we can just Cosmic Star and then have Mario heal. So, that'll be fine. See, every every playthrough of Culex is like slightly different. It has something unique going on in it, which I like. So, I'm pretty cool with that. Alright, let's do like another thousand damage. Because <laughs> why not? See, now if Peach had Psych Bomb... I feel like we'd have a lot more firepower going on, but sadly we don't. <laughs> Alright, how much longer does this move go on for? I mean, I can keep this going all day, you know? Yeah, I really want to do another Armageddon playthrough. I might do that after I finish Brothership, honestly. So it'll be a little while. 2,000! <laughs> Okay, I wasn't expecting it to do that much. Damn. Yeah, the star egg is very warranted. The, uh, the quartz charm better be worth it. Hmm. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to have happen. That's like the worst case scenario. Having, having Gino turn into a mushroom is really bad, really bad case scenario. And he debuffed. Oh my god, this is really bad now. We just need the Cosmic Star and hopefully kill the crystals. I actually have to get rid of Gino's um, mushroomization this turn. Yeah, because Mario's, Mario's got a red essence and Mallow's immune to it, so... Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that didn't do nearly as much as I wanted it to. Okay, I'm okay with this. Alright, thankfully Mario still has his buffs, or his red essence, so he's fine for another turn. Good. You use that on Mario. He's using flame for some reason. <laughs> we have to buff again anyways, so we're gonna heal this turn. Yikes. Gino is almost dead already. 
There we go. And then we gotta uh, wait a little bit for our turn to come back. There we go. Okay, now we can do like another 2,000 on the crystals. If I get like a really good cosmic star, it, it would, th in theory, only take like four of these to kill the crystals. So, yeah. <laughs> 3D, 3D crystals in the remake. I was honestly really, I'm not, honestly, I was really happy that they decided to keep Kulex as a 2D boss. And then they made the super boss version of him 3D. Okay, the crystals are dead. So this fight's piss easy now. Wow. 714. Starstorm. Oh, he's getting, like, really aggressive now. Fuck. This is another worst-case scenario, actually. I just used the Star Carol Cola. Okay, well, I gotta reapply my buffs anyways. So, you know what? I'm fine with that. Do I have a red essence left? I do, I have one left. Let's use it. If I need two more red essences, I can go get the ones in um, Nimbus Land. Let's see how much this does, I'm curious. 400, yeah, that's not much. So yeah, he, he's, he's way more aggressive now that um, we, we killed his crystals. I think that's a smart way to balance out Culex, though. Because once you kill his crystals in the original, he just kind of sits there and does like one spell a turn, but it's very smart that they made him more aggressive. Okay, Star Storm again. Alright, I want to see how much health he has left. Three thousand. <laughs> A little off, eh? That's not what is. That's not what his thought peak is supposed to say. Because I think in the I think in the translated version he says like I feel out of place or something, <laughs> which makes way more sense. Oh, did I miss? I dead ass missed. Okay. And he's debuffing again. Okay, he he only attacked once that time. Still one more turn of red essence. Ooh, yes, the good one. The good amount. The good variance, I should say. Okay. Alright, so Mario's red essence should run out this turn. So we we made we made good use of them. This was a pretty tricky Culex fight. I'm I'm glad how well it went. Alright, so if Mario dies now, that's gonna be bad. Unless he's dead. Nope, he's not dead yet. Oh shit. He's getting way more aggressive now. <laughs> 380. I'm gonna risk it. Yes! I did it! Let's fucking go! 244 experience! It's gonna be like at least a couple levels. 42. Two levels per character. Let's go. Hey, maybe, um, maybe Peach can finally learn Psychobomb or something. Supernova! Yes! Oh yeah, Peach's gonna get a lot of levels. Never mind, she only got two. How has Peach not learned her new spell yet?
Received a quartz charm. I remember, I think in my hack, I called it like the Vanda Band or something like that. <laughs> it's a cool name in its own right. Alright, the quartz charm makes the wearer utterly broken. Really, now, you don't say. What do you mean it makes you broken? It lowers my stats. Let me look at what it does. What does it actually do? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm trying to render a video right now. I'm trying to render that Mario Kart video that I did. So, that's kind of uh, taking a toll on my computer right now. Alright, so where is the Quartz Charm? What does the Quartz Charm do? Because, I mean, in the original, it didn't do that much. It was just kind of a cool uh, little novelty accessory. Quartz Charm. Um... It makes you immune to all elements, all... All effects, and it gives you status up at the start of a battle. And mortality protection. I mean, that's, that's actually not bad. So, it's still decent. So, if anything, I should just ex equip that instead of the... Well, actually, let's swap these around. Give the Quartz Charm to Mallow, and... Yeah. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it actually cancels out things. Alright, so now that we've finished that, we're finally ready to go on to the endgame and beat, uh, Smithy. Because literally all we have to do today is just do the factory, which, you know, I could do that. Oh, great, well, not Bowser's Keep. <laughs> the factory, or the gate. It's weird that they call it the gate. And we get like the best song in the whole game. I forget what this song even sounds like in the remake, honestly, because I'm so used to this version. But I'm sure it sounds fine. It's just a shame you'll never have more than six stars on your profile. If you if you 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 can actually get seven stars, but it's very unlikely. All right, let's try out Supernova. Not bad. Ooh. By the way, this is an unused Boo palette. <laughs> I figured I'd point that out. Yeah, Mallow is... Oh, there's the unused sickle move as well. That, that's, that's normally unused. It normally makes you a scarecrow. And that is that is actually the, in the game. Definitely on the remake, though. Here's how to destroy every enemy loadout. Well, here's the thing, though. Well, the enemies in this dungeon, they have, like, like 5,000 health each. So, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Well, we can see how much our ultra jump does. That did fuck all. <laughs> I mean, Mario's ultra jump really does suck. Ow. <laughs> Somehow he's able to do that as a scarecrow. Bro, how are you guys still alive? I mean, honestly, these guys still aren't as bad as the fucking five Goombas I had to deal with in Bower's Castle. So, I'm still grateful for that. Okay, now we use Star Egg. <laughs> we need it right now.
Yeah, this end game is pretty tough, which is good. I'm glad it's tough. Yeah, even Galaxy Blast is better than frickin' Ultra Jump. Oh, you can po I can get he can get poison too. Nice. That did fuck all actually. <laughs> I'm really glad I leveled up Gino enough that he learns this. Cause it's gonna make pretty quick work of the enemies in here. Oh, I also poisoned the Glum Raver too, nice. Boing. These guys are still alive. I mean, I could, like, you know, scan them if I really wanted to. Bleh. Oh, well, that's not gonna do anything. <laughs> Missed everybody. Did Gia get debuffed or something along the way? Wow, these guys are still alive. How? <laughs> How the fuck? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he used a blizzard and then died. Okay, now he's dead. All this for one encounter, by the way. Like, how are you expected to grind off these guys when they, the battles take like five minutes each? Bleh. Alright, let's kick him in the face. The boo is still alive, though. How? Let me see, is he immune to Raijin World? He is not immune to that. I love how he does static E, and then dies. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, the, the- oh, fuck. Jumped the wrong way. These enemies are really not that worth fighting. But I'll fight them at least once, just to see what they're like. And who knows, there might be some unique enemies in here. Hey look, we have an Amoeboid. Or Amoeboid, as I used to call it. Oh, it's okay, the, the easiest loadout so far. Holy fuck. Well, there's your grinding spot right there. Jeez. Screw fighting those other guys. I mean, to be fair, I did used to grind off those guys as a kid, so... Yeah. Okay, well... Good to know there's still a good way to grind in this game. If I really need to get to level 60. Which we're, we're getting there, I mean, yeah. Yeah, here's the grinding spot right here. Glad that Geno is still as good as ever. And I'm getting a fuck ton of cosmic melodies that I don't need. Oh, I'm also gonna need to recover my FP after this. Which I will do, I will do that. Well, I mean, Gino's certainly not gonna be learning anything new. Does Peach ever learn her final move? Let's use that flower tab that we got. Hmm. There's a chance I might need to go back and get more healing items. We'll see, though. Looks like my laundry is done. Damn, okay, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back then with my laundry. Alright, so after doing my laundry, I kind of had the thought of... 
Should I should I give a listen to the uh the old the factory theme in the remake? Cause I kinda wanna hear what it sounds like again. It's been a while. Uh SMRPG factory theme. Um Yeah, I think it's the, I think this is it right here. Let me listen to this again. Cause I haven't really listened to this in a while. Yo, this is actually pretty good. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna play this a little bit while I'm playing the game. Let me just listen to this a little bit. Mario leveled up again! I mean, the music is gonna play anyways. Definitely has that very Kingdom Hearts moody sound to it with that <laughs> that you know Yoko loves. Hey Peach, are you finally gonna learn your spell? No. Okay, I guess not. Oh yeah, by the way, last surprise box in the game right there. I don't know if you get anything for finding all of them, but yeah. Oh, and here's the useless Ultra Hammer. Unless it's better now, I don't know. I don't imagine they made it better. Nope. It does give you eight speed, though, in case you really want that for some reason. Ugh. Yeah, one of the most useless weapons next to the Super Slap. Okay. Well, I quite, I quite like, I quite like that remix. I forgot how good it sounded. <laughs> Because, uh, here's the thing, I was playing the remake with my girlfriend, so I didn't really get too much of a chance to, like, you know, really soak in the music. But, yeah, that, that was pretty damn good. It's just, it's just, it's still not as good as the OG, though. The OG just has that epic fix factor that all the ROM hacks use. Anyways, uh, here's Countdown. Countdown's gonna be kind of a bitch. No matter how you look at it, Countdown is pretty much guaranteed to be a bitch. I know that. Especially because I know he's gonna be like... He's gonna be hollering and hooting and killing me with insta-kills. And doing that... Gino still gets mushroomized. Actually, you know what? Perfect. Turn him into a scarecrow last second. So yeah, we we absolutely need to get rid of these guys as soon as possible. Who knows? Maybe we can even put them to sleep. Let's give it a try. I don't think they can be put to sleep. Oh, it's dead already. What the hell? That was fast. Oh, Dark Star ha attacks everybody now. Shit. Okay. Countdown might actually be easy. <laughs> we'll see, though, because I kind of need to heal right now. 
<laughs> Look at all those cosmic melodies that I got I got from frickin' Amoboids. Amoeboids? I don't fucking know. I like- I think- I always said Amoboid, because it sounds cool. But, it's based on an amoeba, so it's obviously Amoeboid. Yeah, sure, we'll jump on the watch. Okay, I'm doing it too late now. I mean, even the, is there even a way you can make Countdown tougher? <laughs> you know, we'll, see, we'll see if he's a weak to Thunder. No! No, he's immune to it. Okay. That was good. Time for a break! Which in actuality means spam Aurora Beam. <laughs> okay, we need to use a Shroom Rain then. Even though we're supposed to be immune to shit, we're still not for some reason. Which is the most annoying thing about this hack. It says like, hey, you're immune to everything. But in actuality, you get inflicted with it anyways, which makes no fucking sense. Like some weird bug or oversight. I do find it really funny how the, how the countdown itself, the watch itself, is the um the boss. Like just the hands, the clock itself is fine, <laughs> but it's the watch that's actually like, you know, the problem. Alright, he's gonna do Dark Star. I mean, you think jumping on an alarm clock would fucking kill it, but yeah. I guess not, huh? Nine hundred, man. Time to fully recover, which in other words means get three hundred of your health. Oh, four hundred. Okay. And also, Mario's taking a lot more damage than he should. I think after this boss, I'm gonna go, uh, wet my shirt, because it's getting too hot in here. Actually, I want to see how much health he has. There's like five different bosses in here, so, yeah. 5,000, okay. I mean, 5,000 health at this point in the game is nothing. So, I can do that. Fuck. Messed it up. Oh, I did do a thousand, so that's good. Here comes another Dark Star. Just heal any time you get- you take damage. I mean, I'm really glad I don't have to leave the dungeon midway to get more items. Because that's just annoying. Yeah, another 900. There we go. I love how he just counters with a dark star whenever I jump on him. Dinner time. Apparently in the remake, it says, like, time to turn on the tap or something. <laughs> or no, time for a bath, yeah. Like, dinner time and bath time are, like, two fucking different times. How do you mess that up? I don't know. I still find it really funny, though.
Yep, just just keep spamming. N another 900 damage. Yeah, Countdown's gonna die like real. I think he's gonna die after this super jump. No. I guess I'll break D spell. <laughs> Nah, you're dead, bro. Get out of here. Um, alright, I guess I'll Cosmic Star again. I don't need to buff again. He's he's freaking dead, bro. There. <laughs> knew it. I knew he was like close to dead. I don't even think he got to see all his spells. All right, yep, that was that was a good fight. Oh yeah, by the way, here's a room that you never you can never come back to. For some reason, this room is just, it just gets locked off for all of eternity once you uh, finish fighting Countdown. It eh, stop lagging, game. Okay, I'll be right back though. All right, so I just got back. I had a thought. <laughs> I had a thought while I was in the bathroom. I reminded myself what I was going to talk about. So. There's this guy in the Mario Party Netplay server, and for some strange reason, also, uh, Axum fight. Axum Bull- Axum 2.0. Wow, they're actually colored this time. There- this is a guy, I, and, um, <laughs> I kinda just wanna point out, he's kind of a weirdo, because, um, he- he thinks- also, wait, what? Why is Axum... Wait a minute. Did they change that so it's a fire attack now? So, uh, this guy, he kept on- he kept on shitting on Super Hyper Mario. Which, um, it's kind of weird on its own. But then, he says he actually likes Sticker Star. And I'm just like, are you a real person? <laughs> Well, I didn't say that, obviously, but I'm just like, you think Super Paper Mario is shit, but you think Sticker Star is a good game? Which I'm just honestly confused on. <laughs> oh my god. Really? They have so much health? How much health do these guys have? Bro, I'm gonna be fighting these guys for ages. <laughs> and they keep going after Mario. Bro, can you guys stop? Fuck. I like how I died to the fake Axums and not the actual and actually the actual bosses. The monsters mute. Good. Stay that way. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. That that guy is uh that guy is all kind. He's he's something. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, like, I, I feel like I blinked, and suddenly there's a lot of Super Paper Mario haters recently, and I'm like, how the fuck, when the fuck did that happen? <laughs> I feel like it was just yesterday that everybody was praising that game, and now people say they don't like it? <laughs> that was I sleep? was I, why, was I in, like, a cryogenic field for 10 years or something? Maybe, a, like, maybe 50 years? I don't know. That is a really awkward timing. I'm surprised he's. I'm surprised he's. I'm surprised Elegies hasn't shown up more. The fact that these guys have more fucking health than um. That they have more fucking health than um. What's his name? That countdown is honestly insane. Maybe I should use the other uh, star move then, the one that debuffs them. Especially because apparently Axum Red is immune to it, because now it's considered a, a fire move. Which I guess it makes sense because, you know, Geno has an ice move now too. I don't know why that's. And now that I think about it, that's not weird anymore. 
You know, he probably has a thun- Wait a minute, I just thought of something. What if Raijin World is considered a thunder spell, and that's why some of the enemies are immune to it? Is that possible? Damn, now I kind of want to look at it. I'll look at it after these guys take their turn. <laughs> fucking multi-strike ass, get out of here. Okay, let me look at let me look at lazy. Sh I still have it open, thankfully. Let me look at the moves in this game. Attacks. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Huh. Well, we're good to see multi strike is still in the game. Okay, where is where is Geno World? Oh wait, no, it's 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 in uh, special moves. It's in spells, yeah. Raijin World. Um. Is it is it a thunder move? It doesn't. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's a thunder element. So that means that all the bosses that were immune to it were um all the bosses that were immune to it earlier. Uh, they were immune to thunder then. Also, is Psych Bomb still in the game? It is. It says Bomb Barrage may cause fear. Well, um... Whatever, wherever it is, we haven't unlocked it. There's also P Mecha Koopa, which we haven't unlocked. Apex Spire, Cosmic Star, yeah, we have all that stuff. Okay, I see, so Data Drain does debuff enemies. Hmm. Maybe I should be using that more often then, huh? Icy Snowman. I think I have all the moves though, besides that. Um And also Flame Storm is supposed to be Mario's ultimate move, but he doesn't have that yet either. <laughs> I think. Well, <laughs> can't check because he's muted. Yeah, sure, throw rocks at me. Is that gonna mute Gino? I thought Gino... No, Gino's not immune to anything. The only, the only one who's actually immune to shit is Mallow. So you might as well use the Star Egg this turn. I'll fight, like, one of each of these guys, because I'm not gonna be grinding them, obviously. So, hooray, optional boss time. <laughs> also, is it normally, um, is it normally they're in Axum Pink in this loadout, not in Axum Black? I guess they changed that. It's weird, because in the, in the original, there's normally a loadout that has, like, two Axum Blacks and two Axum Yellows. <laughs> Which is definitely very strange. Alright, uh, time to spam more, uh, Galaxy Blasts. That does look very satisfying. Mayro RPG Masters, yes. Alright, we hate Mario again today. Hey, bro, you can't attack twice. Three times! He attacked three fucking times. How much health does Axum Blue have left? 2,000. He's actually, he's almost dead. Good. So at least we know he's gonna die soon. Still muted, sadly. Actually, wait, yeah, let's just Fire Blast, since it'll do more damage to Axum Blue. <laughs> I 
These fucking multi strikes. The monster's mute. Boing. So would that make Axum Yellow immune to, um, Thunder then? I never thought about that, but yeah, he might be. Oh, I haven't seen that move in a while. Just, they're just only targeting my, uh, Mar my Mario and Gina, that's it. Mallow gets to go off scot-free, apparently. Missed that timing up really badly. Yeah, just keep spamming Fire Blast. He's dead. Alright, good. That's one less guy to worry about. <laughs> Throw more rocks at me. Another 300. And we are still muted, bro. <laughs> Don't know how you get muted for that long. It's almost as bad as what Discord mods do. <laughs> they'll, they'll just be petty and they'll mute you for no reason. So, uh, I kind of wasted my time yesterday, by the way. <laughs> because, um... I was gonna play with Jay, and I, he said, like, I'm watching a movie. And so I said, hey, let me know when you're done. Let me know when you're done watching the movie so we can play. He never fucking responded to me. So I ended up just working on, um... <laughs> I just ended up working on my hack instead. And man, it's, I'm just glad I have something to do when I'm waiting for, you know, people to get their shit together. Oh, he actually went to sleep that time. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, he didn't go to sleep because he fucking attacked immediately after. Man, I swear the, the statuses in this game are just absolutely, like, stupid. They never work properly. Okay, well, hang on a second. If he's weak to ice, then this, does this mean ice is gonna do, like, a fuck ton? Oh, wow. Yeah. That is good. Makes me kinda wish Mario had an ice move now. It's okay, Mario can use ice blast. Genuine use and gen genuine reason to use Ice Beam late game. Alright, so that was a long ass fight. I'm never fucking doing that again. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it, bro. It takes too long. Like, sure, you get a lot of experience. He still didn't learn it. Does she is she just never gonna learn it at this point? Also, yeah, for some weird reason. Any patched version of this game, the collision breaks here. I don't know why. It's very strange. I'm just gonna grab those real quick. Yeah, I, I have no idea why the collision breaks. It's just kind of a thing that happens. You just kind of have to get used to it. I learned that when I was a kid. So I've known about that glitch for like 10 years probably. Yeah, about 10 years. No, no, not 10, like, 7 or 8. The fact that these guys give as much experience as the Axum Rangers, and they take, the like, they take, like, 10 seconds, is just funny. <laughs> it's laughable. Like, I got the same amount of experience as an Axum Ranger fight. And, you know, I will fight these guys. 
So we have uh, Mad Mallets and Springers, which by the way, the Springers, they have like 4,000 health. So, yeah. Get out of here. Because <laughs> I looked at their stats in the in Lazy Shell. And you know what? Mad Mallet isn't any better. 5,000, bro. Why? Why does a random ass enemy have 5,000 health? Like, they have, what, like, 300 in the, in the normal game? Actually, less than that? Like, you pretty much need Geno for all this. Okay, never mind, they're immune to thunder, so I guess we are gonna have to kill these guys. <laughs> What's that, you want, you want an enemy to be immune to... To Geno World? Just make him have a Thunder immunity for no reason. And also give them and also give them like ten turns. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Okay, well, maybe Supernova will do something. Okay, at least they're not immune to that. <laughs> uh, let's try Icy Snowman. Okay, yeah, they're not mean to that either. Definitely need to heal Mario now. Okay, never mind. We actually were, were reviving him instead. Because Mario has like no defense now, which is not good. Sadly, we're gonna have to kill these guys the good old-fashioned way. And in other words, means like ten, ten snowmans. Snowmen. <laughs> so are they weak to fire then? Drop it too early again. I mean, if they're weak to fire, that's cool. That'll be helpful to know for later. Man, I'm just never ready for that move. Um, should probably use a healing rain. You. Nope. Okay, now I'm not used to the slow version. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense for them to have multi-strike, honestly. Good. Ah, oh, I'm out of FP, fuck. Okay, use Star Shower instead. That still does decent damage. Honestly, I really want to go for my shower right about now. I don't know when I should. Maybe, um... Maybe sometime... Maybe at the next save point or something. I don't know. Although I know that would, that would take like 10 to 15 minutes. So I don't know if, if anybody would bind that. Just star on him, I guess. Just kill him with physicals at this rate. There we go. 
power up. Those are kind of useless at this point. Oh yeah, here's a uh, Mac 2. Let's fight Mac 2. And he has a bunch of springers with him. We can actually see what the springers do now. <laughs> Besides using flame. Okay, maybe I'll go shower after this Mac fight. Is it nice that these nice that they still do that. But by this point in the game, these guys aren't really that strong anymore. Let's see how much um, health Mac 2.0 has. Uh, something thousand. <laughs> I can't read. I can't read in uh, weird script numbers like that. Actually, wait. If anything, I should be using Ice Blast. He's probably weak to that. So that means uh, that means Supernova is going to be useless in this fight. So for once, we're actually going to use Star Shower instead. Ooh, that is some good damage. <laughs> like, they only do like 14 damage at a time. That's like nothing. Oh my god, a 1200 from Poison? Damn, you can actually inflict Mac with poison. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Now we all know, and being able to inflict um, Smithy with poison is like the most broken thing you can do in the rando. Because <laughs> it inflicts like 800 health per turn. Um, yeah, just, you know what, do, do, uh, just keep doing Ice Blast. Alright, so, let's see, let's get, let's get rid of these Springers now. Start whittling them down one by one. Now he's using Bolt for some reason, which never makes sense to me. With zero damage. I got pretty good at that attack. Um, yeah, we can Ice Blast. Still took 79 damage. There's another Springer down. More poison. Well, hang on. How much does... Uh, ow. Well, we're gonna have to heal anyways, so we might as well. So, how much... How much did it do? I think poison does 10% damage, right? So, it does 10,000. That means he probably has, like, 8,000 health left. That's what I want to say. I'm way better at Geno World, I gotta say. Not gonna do anything, buddy. Oh, fuck off. And you're gonna buff too? Yeah, 
Yeah, it does way more. Alright, let's get rid of this last Springer and then we can focus on Mac. So he's gonna do Sword Rain, but that probably won't do anything. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of weak at this point in the game. Which also means when Smithy uses it, it's not gonna really be a threat either. Well, he's not mean to jump at least. gonna do like oh I actually didn't do that much. Oh he's debuffing again bro well that's rude. I want to see how much health he has left. Five thousand okay Seven oh seven. Four thirty seven. That's kind of mid, honestly. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to buff again. Whoops. <laughs> no wonder I wasn't doing any damage. I mean, if anything, he's probably just gonna go for the D spell again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so my my buffing doesn't really matter that much. Well, that really did fuck all, didn't it? Okay, now we can star boost though. Because now he's gonna go for the sword rain, so we have another turn. So he's gonna repeat this process over and over then. It didn't even hit Gino. That's funny. Throw a rock. You'll be a really, you'll be a really dickish uh, Mario RPG ROM hack idea. <laughs> Imagine a ROM hack where you can only press the A button once per guard, and if you miss press it at any point, you just immediately, uh, like your character grays out or whatever, and then you can't, um, then you can't do anything anymore. Another, another dickish Mario RPG ROM hack idea <laughs> brought to you by the letter C. He's so close to dying, bro. Like, man. Like, these feel like genuine boss fights. <laughs> Didn't even hit Mal all that time. I guess Sword Rain has a miss rate, you know? It's kind of weird to think about. Bro, just die already. There we go, jeez. Yeah, 
I mean, at least it's getting good experience. Oh, she finally learned Psych Bomb. Why did it take until level 51 to learn it? Wait, why did Bowser learn just now learn Toxic Gas? The fuck? Okay. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna take my. Sh I'm gonna go take a shower. For the people who are watching the recording on YouTube later, it won't feel like much, but uh, for the stream, I'm gonna be gone like 20 minutes or so. So, I uh, hope you guys don't mind. I really wanted to do this. I'm kind of just not feeling the greatest right now, so I want to go shower. So, I'll be back in like 20 minutes, and then uh, we'll have play more of this game and potentially finish it. So, yeah, see you then. So, after taking my shower, we're going to continue Mario RPG. And, uh, probably beat this, probably beat this ROM hack. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't usually stream immediately after having a shower, but there's a first time for everything, I suppose. Also, are these guys immune to Geno Whirl? You're not. I think the boos are, though. Well, we can actually test that theory in a sec here. The boo's like, hell no, nah, you killed my hip hop -ho friend? How dare you? I'm gonna curse you with a lightning orb, bitch. Yeah. Die. <laughs> These boos aren't very threatening, though. Um, I'm gonna do a data drain on them, see how much health. They're called Super Boos. That's a cute name, Super Boo. Wait, Super Boo? Like, uh... Like, Dragon Ball Super Boo? <laughs> also, they have 4,666 health. If that's that isn't enough to tell you how much... How, much, how fucking overboard these enemies are in this dungeon, that, that should tell you. Alright, we'll see if Raijin World works. Oh, it does. So they're not immune- they're not immune to lightning, thankfully. Ooh. I mean, at this rate, all I have to do is just guard, let Gino do all the work, and then these battle- this battle's over. I mean, seriously, I don't have time to sit through, like, fucking 5,000 health per boo, you know? We- we need to get a move on. <laughs> There are times where I think, um, things can go a bit overboard. And if a random encounter takes more than, like, I don't know, five minutes, <laughs> there's a problem. <laughs> like, I think at most, maybe 2,000 would be fine, but 4,666 is a bit much. There's a... Well, well, don't need those. Don't need more Cosmic Melodies. We're good on those. I believe that... Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a Gold Shroom. It's basically what I, what I thought. Alright, so we have Bowyer coming up, which you can actually skip. You can actually skip him. If you're fast enough. Oh. The, the, these guys we gotta be careful about. Take it nice and slow. If you take it slow, you won't have to fight a single one of these guys. <laughs> okay, I will fight one of the bowyers though, because yeah, why not? <laughs> Bowyer 2.0. Ow. So how much health does Bowyer 2.0 have? Yeah, stop in ya! Uh, is he weak to fire? I don't think he is. That doesn't really look weak to me. It's gonna do nothing. <laughs> nope, no damage for you.
That's some good damage, though. Okay, I saw it coming that time. Is he weak to ice? Again. I don't know if Bowyer even has a weakness. Maybe he's weak to jump. I don't know. Let's try it. No, not really. Doesn't really look like he's weak to it. Oh shit, but he got poisoned. That's pretty good. Well, Bowyer being uh, weak to that is good. You know, for shits and giggles, we'll do sleepy time as well. Even though it's not gonna work. Oh, and he also uses sleep shot on me. Mm. Eh, fuck it, we'll just super jump him then. There's the timing that I was looking for earlier. Alright, thanks for waking Gino up, buddy. So yeah, he has like 10,000 health. <laughs> of course you have that. All the bosses have this stupid dumbass shit. Dispel into Arrow Storm. See, that's why Mute is just, like, such a useless, like, spell on Peach, because she doesn't need it. Most- pretty much every boss is immune to Mute, so you never need it. Like, that's the ideal time to use it, will be on bosses. Enemies die too quickly, so it doesn't matter. This is kind of one of my problems with Peach's spells, like, half of them suck. <laughs> Sleepy time is good. Because more bosses are, are susceptible to sleep. But otherwise, um... Yeah. I don't know what I'm trying to say. No! Put Mario to sleep, bruh. Yeah, I ain't getting this shit. I'm trying to go for raw power here, and Gino, Mallow, and Mario is, like, probably the best combo you can do. Especially if Cosmic Star does, like, you know, almost a thousand every turn. Thanks for waking Mario up. And he's back to sleep again. No damage. Literally nothing. Not a. <laughs> uh, okay, so... How much health does he have left? Let's find out. 4,000, okay. He's he's getting closer to death. Also, did his his uh did his button like shit AI broke? I think it get broke because uh he's not getting rid of the Y button. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> yeah, put him to sleep. Missed. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we just need to heal Mario. We don't need to use a star egg. We need to keep the pace going. Okay, that was too slow. He's got 2,000 health left. Yeah, his AI's broken, bro. Five hundred. Now we need to heal because you know we have no FP left. Yeah. Yeah, that error ain't error ain't gonna do shit to me, man. Still hasn't switched. He still hasn't flipped the switch, has he? Hey, he's dead. All right, there's uh, another 50 experience for Mario. Just keep going for spells. Alright, so we're basically at the end here. Level 45. It's like, we pretty, have pretty much end game stats right there. We have the three ninjas right here. And a full heal, I appreciate that. Let's fight, let's fight one of the ninjas. Oh my, oh my goodness, guys. They are also me in the Geno world. Um, honestly, <laughs> I don't think this loadout is worth it. Nah, I'll pass. Honestly, we're at the end of the game. I don't really feel like fighting all these guys. Anyways, here's Yuridovich 2.0. Sadly, his palette isn't changed. I don't know why they changed. Why they changed the first two bosses, but not Eurydice? They could have made him like a cool yellow or something, I don't know. Okay, well, why am I bothering data draining when I know he's gonna have like 20,000 health? Oh yeah, for once I did not have pizza for breakfast. This is the first time I had something besides pizza for breakfast in like a year or two. Well, no, that's not true, but I I haven't I usually just keep having pizzas for breakfast because like it's something consistent that I know my body will like. Because the thing is is I don't feel motivated to cook in the morning. So that's why I always just resort to making like oven food. Like I could make chicken in the morning too, like that's also an option. But I don't know, I'm usually not really in the mood. Although I wonder how true it is that whatever you cook in the morning keeps you full for longer. So in theory, if, if I were to make a chicken wrap, in, or if, I'm, if I were to make two chicken wraps in the morning, would that keep me full like the whole day? <laughs> also, I don't know if he's immune to jump, okay. Just making sure. Also, if I had to take a wild guess, Yuridovich is probably, um, not going to have his multiplier attack in this form. Probably not. Oh yeah, he's, a, he's weak to thunder, right? I should probably do that on him. Okay, 
damn, lost the rhythm. Pierce, haven't seen that move in a while. Well, in that case, Raijin will be weak on him. Not really. <laughs> Ow. Look. Alright, so Smite, he should be weak to Smite then. No, he's not. Okay. I really thought that would be good against him. Okay, so... Star... Supernova, maybe? Yeah, that's way better. Ooh, wow, the poison works on him. And I love that damn... I love that poison damage. Yeah, if poison is in fact 10%, then that means he has 12,000 health left. In which case, I should probably just keep spamming Galaxy Blasts. That'll get him down a lot quicker. So we can check how much health he has based on the percentage of damage poison is dealing to him. So he has 9,600 left. Uh, and you're gonna go for Arrow Rain. Of course you are. You know what I find kind of strange? I find it kind of strange that, um... There's no Axe Rain. Even though I feel like that would be, um... You know, a move that he would have. Or not, not, not Yurdovich. I mean the Axe Rangers. Imagine if instead of the Breaker Beam, the Axe Rangers use something called Axe Rain. <laughs> now that would be cool. Ooh, nice, perfect guard there. Yeah, just keep spamming Galaxy Blast on him. I mean, I already know damn well that Spear Rain ain't gonna do shit. He's bluffing. They let go too late. Spear shower. <laughs> I mean, that just kind of rolls off the tongue a little better, honestly. Then spear rain. Sword storm. Sword storm sounds cool, actually. And then arrow. Arrow. I don't know. Something. Something that. Uh... Oh, what would be something cool? that. What's some alliteration you could use with the word arrow? I don't know. <laughs> Aurora arrows. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that 500 damage is definitely helping. 600. He's got 6,000 health left then. See, I don't need to do, um, I don't need to do, uh, you know, Data Drain, I can just do that. Well, I technically could still do a Data Drain if I really wanted to. Hey, I think of 600, I did 600 back. Yeah, just keep, keep doing it. I don't need to heal. Who needs healing, man? Who needs it? I don't need that shit. Nah. 400, okay. He, he has to be close to dead soon. We're doing like a 2,000 damage a turn? Yeah, two more turns of this and then he'll be dead. Mm, I 
don't need. I don't think I need to Galaxy Blast anymore. Lol. <laughs> Nope. Oh shit, I might need a heal actually. He's got 2500 though? You'd think since this dude has a spear, he'd be immune to jump, but nope. He's not. Let's go for physicals now. You can stop that, buddy. Yeah, a thousand. He's basically dead. So he did not have the multiplier. Weird. And he hasn't bothered going for, um... Oh, there he is. It's a little too late for that, buddy. You're kind of already dead. <laughs> he did it way too late. Also, I had a curiosity. Are there any, um... Oh, fuck. My mouse disappeared again. Why does it keep doing that, dude? I hate this. Like, I can't see shit. I want to check. I want to check if there's, like, any hidden monsters in this game. <laughs> like the left eye. Well, there's Bower. Hmm. Are there any weird enemies in this game that I haven't come across? Well, I definitely haven't come across the Pup Hawks. Apparently, he can do multi strike Somnus Waltz and some weird stuff. And he explodes if you use fire on him. <laughs> Soul. The soul has 666 health, by the way. Okay, so Yuridovich 2.0 had 18,000 health. That's good to know. Also, apparently there's a thwomp enemy in this game. Where the hell is that at, I wonder? Who knows? Yeah, I'm looking through all the enemies real quick to see if I missed anything. <laughs> um... Well, Baba Yaga and all the unused enemies aren't getting used. There's gold enemies? <laughs> gold Mario? Gold Peach? Those have to be unused. Harlequin, Jabbit, Juju, Lumbler, Magic Dragon, Master Blaster, Merlin, Pile Driver. Wait, Pound Debt isn't in the game? Interesting. Spare. There's just enemies called Spare. That's weird. So where's the Apprenta Koopa replace? There's Bahamut, obviously. Yep. Blaster, Blooper. Oh yeah, hey, there's the Blue Amanita again. Yeah, he has, um, 800. Oh, wow. Okay, I need to stop this music, because it's getting annoying. I was, I'm looking at, I'm looking at some stuff real quick. Uh, let's go save. And, uh, I think we should be fine. We're healed up, pretty much. Okay, so I'm looking at the loadout data for the blue Amanita. And apparently... Apparently, the Am Blue Amanita can do different spells depending on what formation it's in. It says, if in formation 113, 121, 269, like, the f like it, it, that's kind of interesting. The Blue Amanita is, like, one of the most, like, unique enemies. Caught Peach, Chained Kong... Chester had 13,500 health. 
Countdown, 10,000. Rocco. Hulex had 15,000. We never got to see Doppel. <laughs> Doppel didn't have anything interesting. Drill bit. Apparently, drill bit is in this game somewhere. Who knows where, though? Well, you know what? Drill bit's probably in the factory, actually. Xor had 10,000 health. The factory chief has 10,000. Fire ant, fire birdie, fire crystal, fly guy, four keys, frog, gek hit, gecko, glum reaper has 4,444 health. Gold chomp. Oh yeah, Gold Chomp has a 5% chance to drop gold bars, by the way. So that gold bar that I got was 5% drop. Hmm. That gorilla. Don't I look like Donkey Kong? We never found the gorilla, I'm pretty sure. Um... Are there any other enemies? Jagger, Jawful, Jester, Jinx, Johnny, King Bomb. <laughs> King Bomb is apparently an unused enemy because it's it only has one HP. So that's weird. King Calamari, Knife Guy, Lakitu, Left Eye, Luko, Mac, Mac 2, Maxter. Mad Mallet, Magikoopa. Oh, yeah, the, the normal Magikoopa. Yeah, Magikoopa was really piss easy, by the way. <laughs> Malakoopa, Manager, Master Doom, Mezzo Bombs. Yeah, we remember those guys. Mr. Kipper, Muku Muku, Neo Squid, Ninja, Octolot, Oilican, Orb User, Pandorite, Piranha Plant, Potaboo, Pounder. Pounders are still in this game. Punchinello, <laughs> which is still weird. Oh yeah, the rat, the, uh, the unused radish enemy, which is now used. Red Amanitas. Ribite. I never found Ribite either. That's a rare enemy. Shade, Shadow, Shaman, Shogun, Shy Guys, Slingshy, Smelter, Smithy. Smithster. Oh, that's the name of the um, Shiper that shows up later. Smithy. All of Smithy's heads. Snapdragon. Sniffit. Soul. I think these are all the enemies, actually. So the only enemies we haven't seen is, like, the drill bit, I think. The drill bit we're gonna come up against soon. So, no, there is no, like, unused enemies. Or, uh, not unused. There's no, um, what am I trying to say? There's no, like, secret bosses or anything. At least not to my knowledge. Also, I don't know why Aaron has Dolphin open and he's not even playing any. He's not even playing it. <laughs> like, what the fuck is he doing? Okay. Whatever, either way, apparently, um, Cloaker and Domino aren't gonna be that bad, so let's go fight them. I love this loadout. Oh, great. Everybody's favorite move, gas press. As if we haven't seen that move enough. Okay, so, if I remember correctly, it's better to get rid of Domino first. Although, honestly, I don't know. Maybe getting rid of Cloaker is better. Because physicals are more dangerous. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Cloaker first. I usually do it the other way around, but yeah. But just the Earthlink has way too much health. Well, there's a move I haven't seen in a while. <laughs> the Endo Bubble. It didn't even do anything. Alright, so we're gonna data drain Cloaker, see how much health he has. Yeah, he only has 7,000. I 
I'm pretty sure he's weak to some stuff, too. Well, he's not immune to lightning, is he? Well, yeah, he's not, but it doesn't do anything. Hypnosis, so that's a fun move to deal with. Thankfully, uh, Mallow gets to go next, so we can just use one of our uh, Shroom Reigns. I think this is my last Shroom Reign, actually. So I'm definitely gonna buy some more of those after. That was pretty good. <laughs> I did a lot of damage. Still, this is 798 to both of them, actually. Weird. I would have thought that it would do different damage. Oh yeah, I think Cloaker's weak to Thunder. No, he's not. But he still takes 400, so that's good. Mm. <laughs> you know, Ice Beam for shits and giggles. Six sixty-two. Damn. Okay. This stream type, this stream length is gonna be really out of whack because I took like 30 minutes to go shower. <laughs> So, I have no idea how long it'll actually be. But I'm not caring about that, I'm just here to play and beat the beat masters. Because I want to beat it today, so I can maybe play Puyo Puyo 4 on Wednesday. Or Tuesday, I don't know. Maybe I'll get to play it Tuesday. Alright, um... You know what, I'll also do a Galaxy Blast for Shits and Giggles as well. 190. Oh, you can poison, um, Domino, apparently. Actually, that's a good question. What are these guys called in Japanese again? Because I don't remember. I know they had weird names. Definitely not Cloaker and Domino, though, I can tell you that. <laughs> oh, yeah, he, he's almost dead. He has, like, a thousand health left. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna look up how much health uh, Cloaker and Domino have, or not how much health, uh, what their names are. I don't remember. Let's have a good old look at the Mario Wiki. Cloaker. You know, it's very nice that he finally has a 3D render. Um, his name is Dirt Link. <laughs> That's a weird name. It's Dorotorinku. And his name is also his name becomes Dirt Link Union in when he's with uh when he's on top of the Earth Link. Okay, what about Domino? What's Domino called? Um He's called um Metorinku, which is Metal Link. So, Dirt Link and Metal Link. Interesting. Dortu Rinku is Domino Link. Wait. That, that's, that's weird. Okay. Weird. Okay. <laughs> so, Dirt Link and Metal Link. Kind of lame names, honestly. Also, maybe that's why, um, maybe that's why the mad, maybe that's why he's called Earthlink in Japanese. That's why one of the snakes got called the Earthlink. That's very possible, actually. Yeah, now we're gonna do fuck all for damage. Straight up miss, bro. This is why I hate physicals, because they miss sometimes. He's got... 
He only has 420 health left. Just have to do 420 damage then. Alright, there we go. Is it the money overlapped with him? Snake! Yeah, it's clobbering time. That is not the spell I wanted to see, bro. That is not the spell I wanted to see at all. Oh yeah, so... I've always wondered, like, what the fuck is Domino carrying? <laughs> and it's a lot more obvious in the remake. He's holding, like, some weird-ass, like, orbs. <laughs> or something like that. But you could barely tell on the, you know, the sprite. But yeah. <laughs> you can tell way easier. Oh, that did not do... that didn't go well. We gotta kill the Mad Adder as fast as possible. Oh no, you have Dark Star. Why? And you can debuff too. Man, how much worse could this day get? <laughs> We're gonna be debuffed this whole battle, bro. Because we keep getting Earthquake. Because there's nothing that protects against fear. I mean, 300 damage is still good. And, well, it was fun while it lasted. Okay, you're gonna Dark Star again. Mallow has to do everything now. Maybe I'll use a Galaxy Blast, just to get something off. I might be able to poison the snake, as ironic as that sounds. Yeah, poison the snake. Nice try. It's not gonna work. It's a frickin' snake, bro. Yeah, I officially hate Earthquake in this mod. One of the worst frickin' uh, things ever. Yeah, even Mallow's stick does a bunch of damage. Oh, there's Carney Kiss. By the way, the only instance of a blockable version of Carney Kiss. I still have no idea why you can block that specific version of it. Alright, well, I need to see how much health it has left, so we're gonna data drain. Oh, 4,000. It's not bad. If you just kill the snake, you don't have to worry about Domino, because Domino's not really doing anything. Considering half the time he's just spamming Blizzard, which doesn't do anything. The other half of the time he does Despell, which is annoying, but whatever. Okay, well, it does do Dark Star. That's a pretty scary move. <laughs> So, on average, we're doing about, you know, 600 damage per turn, so that's still pretty decent. You can do a thousand on a turn where you're not, um, you know, when you don't have to heal. Wait, the snake can also do Dark Star? <laughs> what fucking sense does that make? 
How, how, how bullshit would it be if the snake did Dark Star and then Domino did Dark Star immediately after? Be like the most bullshit thing ever. You just die instantly. Still feared, by the way. I want to see how much Supernova does, if it's better than doing a physical. Yeah, it did 404. That's slightly better. Also, it's a snake. Wouldn't snakes, um... Oh, he's, he's doing a rock slide now. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but wouldn't a snake be weak to snowman? Or is he immune to snowman? It's, it's, one, of the, it's one of the other. I don't remember. I'm bad with this shit, but we'll see. He's weak to it. Okay, so that's, that's actually good then. Well, I don't think he's weak. I think he's just, it's just because Mal is the only one that's not feared and does a lot of damage. You know, it's probably for the best, because Mallow is our biggest damage dealer anyways. Oh, I didn't mean to attack Domino, but whatever. There, there's another 330 damage on Domino, because why not? We're so close to, to the shop that I might as well just, you know, keep at it. Let's see what Smite does. 435, not bad. Okay, not bad. So magic is still better than physical. <laughs> gotcha. Also, I don't know if I healed or not. I might have forgotten the heal. Oh, never mind, he's going for Blizzard Storm anyway. Yeah, we don't we don't need the heal. <laughs> Just keep jumping on that snack. It's dumb that it defaults to Domino though. <laughs> you know, logically you'd want to get rid of the snake. Okay, now the snake's doing Dark Star. You know, because that makes a lot of sense. Corona? Well, that's not gonna do anything. I mean, he's getting more aggressive if he's going for that move. damage on the snake. Alright, yep, it's dead. And I got another 40 experience, with no level ups, by the way. Oh, we got a heal, though. Yeah, you do get healed after all the bosses, which I keep forgetting. Okay, so the po they're pounders now. <laughs> I love that the clerk has canonically put in 10 years into the factory. <laughs> wow, we haven't heard this music in a while, huh, guys? So these guys have like 6,000 health, I think? Which also might be a problem. Oh, especially if they're gonna fear me over and over. Now, Mario might be dead, actually. <laughs> nope. Missed. 
Jeez, I wish all the enemies didn't have freaking counters, you know? There we go, now he's dead. Well, so annoying. Like, they're, they're still going. How? Why do you have, like, five million turns to yourself? Unfortunately, I have to, um... Heal up at everybody. And hopefully that Galaxy Blast will do something to these guys. Nope. It's not doing a whole lot. They're still getting a million turns. You guys still get a bajillion turns even after everything. Oh my god. It just never ends, bro. It never ends. Okay, well, finally. Alright, we need to do a cosmic star right now. <laughs> The sooner I can get rid of these bastards, the better. <laughs> why are the enemy- why are the Lotus with like five random enemies like the worst thing in the game? But, there's another 12 damage for you. 1,200. And they get more turns. Because that's just how this game is. Alright, we'll Star Egg because we kind of need it right now. Honestly, really hoping, really hoping that uh, I can Raijin World one of these guys. Thank you. That's gonna speed things up a little bit. <laughs> Honestly, that should be the first thing I do on, in a loadout. Just see if they can be killed with Gino World. Because every time you fucking attack these guys, they counter with like hammer time or multi strike or whatever. Like, they just love to do that. And also, for the for the record, it doesn't matter if, um... It doesn't matter if Geno's Sphere, he can still do that. He can still do Raijin Whirl on any enemy. There we go. This is going way better now. Is going to be infinitely feared for all time. Okay, now I should probably heal. <laughs> Cause yeah, if you attack them, they're gonna they're gonna counter attack, which is really annoying. Immediately get feared again. Oh, I messed it up, bro. Fuck. Jesus. It just never ends. They just keep attacking. 
Oh shit. <laughs> That's not good. Let's try and kill this one next. There we go. Okay, we're gonna revive Mario. I only have three one-ups, so we gotta be careful. I'm gonna star egg to, again to be safe. Alright, get rid of this guy. Alright, now we just have one guy to worry about, which I can handle one pounder. One pounder is not a big deal. Oh yeah, he's dead. <laughs> there we go. 46 now. Yeah, I would not have learned everybody's spells. Unfortunately, he also has his own set of pounders that I need to get rid of. So that fi this fight's gonna be a lot worse. But thankfully the clerk, the clerk doesn't really have a lot of health. Yeah. So I'm not gonna work, I'm gonna kind of focus on the pounders because I don't want to agitate them. Yeah, he's got 8,500. Let's see if I can jump on him. No, I cannot. Okay. Alright, there goes another pounder. Alright, let's try Icy Snowman. Let's see if that does anything. He retaliates by throwing a rock. Okay, so is he weak to fire? Yeah, he's pretty susceptible to rock, honest. Or to rock to fire. Alright, his. His pounders are gone. That's not gonna do shit, buddy. <laughs> Fuck, we need to heal already. Man, I ran out of FP too quickly. I mean, maxing up my FP to 99 wouldn't really change that much. Wouldn't really make this fight that much easier. Yeah, that 600 damage is pretty good. Can I use Ice Beam on him? Wow, okay, he's really susceptible to that, too. Why is he using Static E? Like, that's such a weak move by this point in the game. Oh, he's really weak to lightning. Oh my god. This guy's gonna be really fucking easy then. We're doing like a thousand damage per hit. Yeah, no shit. Okay, I'm a, I'm a star boost, just to be safe. Because that's basically a heal. 
No. <laughs> no shit for you. Yep, another thousand. Samari's Mar getting 600 and with a fire. Oh, now he's doing a thousand. So Mario wasn't buffed up before then. Yeah, he, he's gotta be dead soon. I'm doing like thousands of damage per turn. dead. Alright, Clark is dead, and we get the access to the shop. Let's go. And we also get 49 experience, because why the hell not? Oh, Mario learns Flame Storm. Yeah, that's not too terribly useful at this point in the game. He is level 59, by the way. Or 50, I think that's a 53, not 59. Yeah, 53. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna speed through this because nobody really cares. We've seen this already. Alright, I'm curious, did they make Toad's shop better or is it just, you know, shitty as it was before? Peach. Alright, you better you better have a good shop, bro. Um, well, first, let me sell stuff. Gold shrooms... Actually, wait, hang on. We have factory gear. This is kind of doo-doo. <laughs> well, actually, hang on. This is great. This is actually a great thing. Because now, I can finally give Mario the star gear. And then I can give Mallow the factory gear. Good. And also, there's Royal Crown. That's just for Peach. Builder Helmet? Null's Jump Damage. That is honestly kind of bad. Here's what I'm really interested in. Or well, first of all, I'm going to sell all my Cosmic Melodies, because I don't need these. I don't need that. <laughs> yep, that, so I don't think I need the Bright Card either. I'll keep it, though, for novelty. So this is all my items, so what I need now... We're buy like ten shroom reins, and the rest I'll buy are one ups. Yep. So this is my inventory because uh, the star egg heals me, and shroom reins, you know, good for curing statuses, so we can keep up the pressure the entire time. This is the most weird way I've ever played this game before. Oh, star caracola. Nope, thanks, Toad. I don't need that. Hey, at least it gave me the right item this time, instead of, uh, accidentally giving me a broken item early game. More pounders, bro. I don't want to deal with more pounders, bro. Oh, that was a weird stutter there. Alright, how's my video doing? It's, like, only half done. Mac 2.0 and Yuridovich 2.0. Okay, so he has four pounders now. Oh yeah, that means Mallow gets feared now, though. Although, on the bright side... Mario's not going to be taking as much damage. I mean, he's, he's, he's still taking a lot, though. <laughs> to be honest, I kind of preferred it when um, Mallow was the one not getting feared. Hmm. There's the star egg. Oh, 
Honestly, I might swap it back then after this battle. Well, I can do Flamestorm. Let's see if he's still weak to Super Flare. He's really weak to fire. Oh my god. Do you see how much that did? Oh yeah, because Mallow's taking way too much damage now. So Mallow kind of needs that star gear. Ugh, and I really hate that these guys keep fucking attacking over and over. It's so annoying. No, no damage for you. The factory gear though, huh? Like, the factory gear doesn't even really seem that much better than the gear I had before. Damn, and I'm impressed that Mario is able to do this much damage. Look at that damage, man. Alright, there's another pounder. At least only having to deal with two pounders, like, I can manage that. Bro, the game lags when he attacks. That, that, that does happen, especially in like the Star Dragon fight. There's a lot of lag in that fight, too. Wow, yeah, that, that damage really is something. Alright, let's get rid of another one. Get rid of another pounder. The more pounders we get rid of, the better. And I also probably have to pee after this. That's okay. <laughs> we've had we've had lots of breaks during this. 25 years of working. Bro, two more of these, and he's probably like, like, like three more of these, and he's dead. I'm doing more damage the more I hit him. Alright, there's all the pounders gone, finally. And thankfully, I don't think he resummons them. Also, Mallow doesn't have a thunder spell, or a fire spell, I mean. If anything, I'd love to give Mallow the, um, the, ult the Ultra Flame. Because that would be actually really good. <laughs> Man, Mario just keeps getting stronger. Oh yeah, Supernova counts as a fire move. This will kill him. There we go. That was one of the easier fights so far. Mario's doing like 2,000 damage per hit almost. Alright. Alright. Alright, I am back now with an improved bed of hair. <laughs> As I was gonna say. <laughs> That's what I, I, I had that planned out. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's grab Cerno again. Cerno's kind of, um... He's been chilling with us for the finale of this game. M meltdown. So, this guy does not have drill bits. I thought he would, but instead he just has four pounders. Kind of mid, honestly. 
so we're gonna do what we keep doing. Just get rid of all of them. And just ignore all of their onslaught of attacks. So I'm gonna guess this guy is immune to fire. So what we wanna do is we wanna probably use ice on him. But here's the problem, Mario doesn't have ice. Oh, he's got he's got lots of health. Fifty years, you'll not get by. Um, can I jump on him? Oh, I can. Wait, so why could I? Why can I jump on him but not the clerk? That's weird. So where did this go? Oh yeah, I forgot. I said I was gonna change out the armor. <laughs> forgot to do that. This my bad, because I went to go piss, so I completely forgot that I said I was gonna do that. Then again, there's not too much I can do to the director. Because, uh, yeah, he's not as weak as the other ones are. in the face with a shell. That'll do it. Oof. Um, yeah, let's get rid of one of the pounders. We need to get rid of them, as many as we can. And then we need to heal. Heal stat. Alright, oh wow. Mallow has 21 health left. Oh, oh my goodness. I got a funny ping. Um, I, I sent Elijah some sauce of Mithra, and then he said, it's second best sauce you've ever sent me. And I was like, what's the first best sauce? This is what I'm wondering. You know, he's probably weak to ice, if I had to guess. Yes, he is. But I forgot to kill the pounder, so... Oops. Not a big deal. Let's use a Galaxy Blast for shits and giggles. He might be weak to poison, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna star egg again then. And let's get rid of that fucking pounder. He's annoying. Wait, so where's the drill bit enemy at then? Is that does that show up in like the where does it show up, actually? Maybe it's unused. It could, or it could be in the factory chief battle. That's also possible. All right, so now we can now we can use ice moves on him. We're not gonna be feared anymore either, thankfully. Use another galaxy blast on him. Now I'm gonna buff everybody up just in case. And it heals Mallow too, so why not? I see no issues with this. The monster is mute. Oh, I muted his ass. Okay. Man, Ice Beam has been so useful in this dungeon. There we go, that's the kind of damage I like to see. Oh my god. Yeah, 121 damage, not a problem. I think Geno might be the strongest. Look at that, 1400. I just did 1400 damage like it's nothing. And he's muted still. Now now the game has just kind of become Mario RPG with big numbers. <laughs> oh, it's 
Spreads bomb. Not a problem still. <laughs> Bro, you ain't gonna win. Bro, I was thinking, now nah, I'd win. And he's failing tremendously. He has to be dead soon. There he is. He tried to do a spell before he died. <laughs> That's the only person who gets a level up here. Alright, I am going to save... Actually, there's a save... Isn't there a save point, like, right before the factory chief? Yeah. Alright. Alright, hopefully that's the last time I'll have to BRB this stream. Because, man, like, 40 minutes of this stream is just BRB shit. So, hopefully I can finish it. Okay, and I, I remembered this time. There we go. <laughs> I remembered. Alright, the Factory Chief, one of the most forgettable NPCs in the whole game. No drill bits. Wait, are, the, are just straight up not drill bits in this game? Why the hell were they in the files, then? That's weird. Also, it's playing this music. Kinda cool. That's not how I wanted to start this fight off. That is not at all. We gotta get rid of that fucker as soon as possible, then. Also, yeah, you exist. I'm not really afraid of the gun yoke, though. The gun yoke's gonna be, you know, he's gonna be chill. Let's we'll see if I can jump on him. 600 damage. Is he really that weak to jump, then? Uh, let's try Star Shower. Because I think, if I had, I had a feeling the gun yoke is gonna be immune to fire. By the way, the factory heap only has like 10,000, I think. So, he'll be fine. Yes, do it on Mallow, please. That's exactly what we need. Because we don't need more mushroomization BS. Twerk. Keep twerking. The monster is mute. I muted his ass. Let's go. Nine hundred seventy. First, just in case, let's try the ice beam on the gun yoke. Whoa, mama, that did a lot of damage. Oh yeah, the, the shurikens. The shurikens do quite a bit of damage as well. I believe those are the only enemies that actually have the shurikens too. Very unique, uh, very unique piece of equipment. So yeah, the gun yoke is immune, or he is weak to snow. Okay, I'm not really afraid of that either. <laughs> I'm not afraid, and I'm not gonna cry. Alright, 600. So much for this endgame being tough, actually. We might he we might have to heal actually. Yeah, I'll, I'll be safe. I'll play it safe then. And after this, I'm probably gonna go make some pizzas, and then I'm gonna ask Zach if he wants to play uh, Plants vs Zombies or or something. 
then again, I don't know if he's caught up on that or not. That was some good damage, too. I mean, I could have made pizzas, like, while I was on my piss break, but whatever. There's the shuriken. Oh, and he's buffing? Hello? He's still mute, though. You're also doing that? What the hell are you guys preparing for? Are you guys preparing for the breaker beam or something? Alright, let's do another ice beam. <laughs> But he's mute, so he can't do anything. <laughs> Is he trying to do something? Okay, well, factory she's gone, so no more mushroom BS. Oh, eh, he's dead. Okay, what was he trying to do then? Can I look at can I look at Lazy Shell again? What was that gun yell trying to do? Oh, uh, well, let's look at the factory chief. Um... He's supposed to use Dark Star, but I muted his ass. <laughs> he's not immune to mute, so he couldn't use it. And what was that gun yell trying to do? He was trying to use Breaker Beam, but Breaker Beam is also a spell. <laughs> Oh, and he's also supposed to use Big Bang when he dies. <laughs> but he couldn't. He couldn't use it because he's muted. <laughs> okay, so that's what the boss is supposed to do. It was supposed to be way harder. But I guess he just couldn't. Hmm, production line hasn't halted. Yeah, I, I know, I get you. Alright, last save of the game. I didn't end up getting those red essences from Toad and Nimbus Land, but whatever. I think we could beat Smithy without spamming red essences. Anyway. I mean, who knows? We'll see. Boing. I'm kind of worried that Smithy's gonna have the same problem as Jinx, and I really hope not, but we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> oh, I'm not, like, using auto-fire. Alright, time for the best song in the game. <laughs> well, one of the best. I mean, sadly, the game removed my frickin' minecart music, which is the best thing in the game. That's the actual best song, but... Sadly, we can't have nice things. Also, 500 health. That's also pretty pog. Alright, so let's see. Uh, Smithy, Data Drain.
<laughs> Something 500. Who knows? Of course, he's gonna start with Sledge, which is iconic. It's this iconic move that he starts the battle out with. Nice 382. Alright. Yeah, we'll just do a Supernova, why not? I mean, if we're gonna do, like, thousands of damage to Smithy every turn, you know, that's gonna... It's gonna be pretty nice. Alright, let's find out if he has any resistances. Nah, lightning doesn't seem to do much. Okay, he has Dark Star. That's uh, pretty much expected. Every boss has that at this point. Okay. I love how Gino has exactly 500 health. <laughs> that is pretty cool, actually. Alright, so we have um, a Smithster, which uh, his palette kind of broke, I think. Galaxy Blast again. We need to stop that guy. <laughs> Zero damage. Let's try a Cosmic Star. I want to see how much this will do. Yeah, not bad. Boom. One of the, be one of the best sounds in the game. Yeah, it does quite a bit. Alright, you know what? Let's see how much Super Flare does to him. The shiny Ice Palette's glitching out. 1,039. Boom. So he's black now, okay. I guess uh, the Shy Guy... He kinda had a change of heart, honestly. <laughs> Let's just say. Oh my god, he's glitching the fuck out. <laughs> That's really funny. It's the rainbow magical shape-shifting Shy Guy. He changes his colors whenever he can. First he was red, then he was yellow, now he's black. Boom. And he's, he's just stuck as that color. I mean, that's kind of cool, honestly, that he's changing colors like that. But obviously I know that's a palette glitch. That's not supposed to happen, obviously. Oh, now he's green! <laughs> he's green now. Green Shy Guy. Oh, he's brown now. Man, that's a pretty cool Shy Guy. He can just change whenever he feels like it. He feels like it. Oh, he's gray now. He's actually the correct color. Wait, he's green now. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh, he changed back to red again. What the fuck? Truly, this is truly the most mysterious part of this game, is the Shy Guy that changes colors. So is that is that the actual intention for them to be red and green? That's kind of cool. But apparently, according to the game files, this star right here is like an effect, so it doesn't actually affect the sprite limit or something weird like that. I think. Boom. Now I see why. They're technically the same enemy, but, you know. Sledge, again. Okay. Based. Based Smithy. You know what? Fuck it. We've never done Flamestorm. Let's see if it's any good. That's not terrible, actually. 600 to all enemies. For once, Ultra Flame is actually viable. I don't think I've ever had Ultra Flame be viable, ever. But finally, for once it is.
900 damage. Oh my god, ow, and... Mario might be dead, actually. Uh-oh. What the fuck? They're charging up now. Are they gonna use Sword Rain like they're supposed to normally? Bird up. Brown Shy Guy. Yeah, no, no balls. Ultra Flame again, actually. Yeah, I li oh, he's dead. I like that damage, though. Boom. So what is this big attack he's supposed to do, then? Is he gonna do it next turn? Well, I'm a star shower, so you don't get to find out. I don't know. I don't know what movie's trying to do, but I don't know. S well, you know let's do an icy snowman. Oh yeah, the smelter does take a bit of damage from that. Yeah, these shy guys aren't really that threatening. Oh, now he's doing Star Storm. Okay. Now that that move is actually gonna hurt. Oh no, Mario's dead, dude. He wasn't able to live that one. Full bottle of juice now. It's pretty damn heavy. He's doing it again. Mario can just barely survive that shit. He has to pretty much be at full health to survive Star Storm. That still did a decent amount. No, please! Why did you kill Mario again? Fuck you. <laughs> hey, fuck you, Luigi. Yeah, I, need, I kinda did need that freebie. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna use Star Storm again, so I need to not die with Mario. I was trying to buff him up. Alright, keep, keep doing that. There you go. Oh, he's dead. The shyster's dead. Okay, now we can heal and actually buff everybody up. Let's try a smite. Actually, what am I doing? That doesn't do any damage, bro. That does like 500. Oh. Which, yes, I know 500 doesn't really isn't much by this point in the game. I know, kind of wild to think about that. Oh, piss, bro. Mario died again. He, he just can't survive Star Storm for some reason. Although the freebies are appreciated. Some, oh, he's dead. Okay. We're done with Smithy Phase 1. Hey, like a blue arrow. <laughs> remember those guys? Hey, remember Drill Bit, the enemy we never fought? And a shyster, because why not? So 
Still a shame they couldn't implement the drill bits in the remake either. Boom. Look well, how Mallow goes all the way to like the bottom left of the screen. <laughs> Alright, it's final boss time. He might die in one hit. Okay, he has, uh... He has some weird shit going on already. Okay, that, that's fine, that's fine. Also good that, um, it's a good thing. Also, I love how he keeps, like, half turning into the tank, and then he doesn't. Okay, let me check how much health Smithy actually has. If my mouse would stop fucking disappearing, Jesus. Smithy, how much does Smithy have? 30,000. Do a good old data drain. <laughs> this isn't good at all. Also, yeah, it turns out I never really understood this kid, but he's actually hitting his head to change shape. And now it's way more obvious after I played the remake. Alright, do a good old galaxy blast, you never know. Magnum. Is that still an instant kill? Oh my- oh my goodness! <laughs> it doesn't do, um... It doesn't- it doesn't instant kill, it just straight up does 9,000 damage, because fuck you, apparently. Wow, actually fuck you, what the hell? We're gonna need every one of those freebies. Why does that fear me, bro? Oh no, this phase really fucking sucks. This fight sucks already. Now I really wish I had red essences. Is there anything I can do against him? I can jump on him. I really don't need- I really don't want him to be in the tank form. It's like the worst form already. That he keeps instant killing all my party members, bro. That's so terrible. I mean, I, I don't want to run out of one-ups. I mean, I'm not, like, super scared about that, but it's still, it sucks. Stop fucking doing that! Jesus Christ. I can't do anything, because he keeps using Magnum over and over. This isn't hard, it's just annoying. <laughs> I need you to switch into a different head, please. Okay, is Mallow at least immune to it? Mallow's immune to it, thank god. Fuck, man. But then he's just gonna do it again. He's just gonna- he's just gonna go for it again. Okay, because Mal is the only one with mortality protection. Okay, finally, I can actually hit his weakness. That didn't, that didn't even do that much. So yeah, our only- okay, finally. <laughs> I can deal with the magic head. 
the or wizard head, whatever. Also, yeah, it turns out that um the top is not a mouth. It's actually a crown with a hood. <laughs> so yeah, I've been seeing things wrong all these years. I mean, honestly, the wizard head isn't probably gonna be that much better. But, sure is a hell of a lot better than whatever the fuck the tank head was doing. And hey, if we're lucky, maybe we can get rid of the, the body, too. Alright, let's see what your health the body has as well. Probably 10,000 if I had to guess. Oh my god, Mallow had 10 health left. Very glad I'm using the star egg now. Yeah, we, we gotta, we gotta t do 30,000 damage to Smithy, which is gonna be pretty tough. Also, I imagine he's immune to Supernova, but I'm just trying it out anyways. Yep, okay. We really need to get rid of the body, though, because it's gonna keep spamming frickin', um... It's gonna keep spamming, uh, frickin' body, uh, like, attacks that frickin' fear me, bro. I mean, at least it's not turning me into a mushroom. You know how, ma you know how annoying that would be? That would probably be the most annoying thing. Alright, D. I don't know, I'm assuming D stands for defense. Yeah. Alright, let's do a good old galaxy blast. Alright, I'm not really afraid of that. Okay, we need to get rid of this damn fear. Get rid of that shit. And then do a cosmic star because we can. Even though it is a defensive head, uh, we we'll probably do a lot of damage still to it. Because the defense doesn't go well above 255. <laughs> yeah, that's still pretty good. <laughs> and Lightsaber is like, one of the least threatening moves of all time. What? You're immune to that? Oh, boo-hoo, man. Boo-hoo. Alright, well, at least you can cause X star again, because at least you know he's not immune to that. Just keep, just keep doing that. He'll die eventually if we keep this up. Mallow actually taking damage? No way. Oh fuck, we're so screwed now. We're so fucked. Well, at least he takes good damage from that. Okay, well, we're not fucked if he attacked, if he decides to go for Mallow, so, yeah. Nice. Oh, well, there goes Mario. Wait, it missed! Let's go! Okay, we need to Star Egg, because Mallow's almost dead. Even though I would love to get that magic damage off, but we'll have to wait that out. Okay, maybe this phase isn't as bad as I thought it was. Especially if we're doing like 1000 damage. Oh, and there goes Mario again. 
Fuck you. Okay, how many one-offs do I have left? I have, uh, not- ten one-offs left. And I got a freebie, so we're all good. Alright. You know what? For shits and giggles, it was Shockstorm for the first time in a while. Because guess what? It still does a decent amount. Oh, and there it goes. Gino. Bye. Can you, can you not, bro? <laughs> can you not? Oh, these freebies, man. They're helping so much right now. Okay, good. Good RNG from Smithy here. Also, I'm curious if, um, if he's when he switches heads, does it remove the bu debuffs that he had? Oh. Maybe it does, I don't know. Oh, you gotta be shitting me, bro. You gotta be shitting me. Okay, good. <laughs> the tank head's gone. <laughs> Thank God. I can only deal with that for so long. Okay, Dark Star is pretty scary, so I'm glad I reapplied my buffs. Whew. Okay. Definitely use the Star Egg immediately. Yikes, now I'm feared. Okay, we're doing damage, though. We're doing something. Alright, be sure to use Star Shower, not Supernova, because that's a fire attack now, apparently. Very good. Oh boy. That's gonna do a lot of damage. Oh no. Alright, keep using the star egg. Yeah, because you have to heal. Because otherwise... Yeah. Okay, chest head, we haven't seen. I'm gonna try the flame storm, just to see if it does anything. He's not immune to that. It's good. Why does everybody have lightsaber? Or why does why does every like yeah why does every boss have lightsaber? This is a silly ass move. Oh my god, 1900 damage. Missed. Zero damage. Is that just gonna? It's just gonna fear me again? Oh, wait. No, it didn't. Oh, we need a day to drain the body. I want to see how much health it has left. It's getting closer to dying now. No, the chest head wasn't out long enough. You fucking asshole. Why, are you Why is it back? I can't believe this. The frickin' tank head's back again, dude. The worst one! What? <laughs> what was that attack? I don't know, but look, we got a free turn, so I'm grateful. And, you know, we can get rid of the body sooner as well. Nice 900. 
Mario Sphere again. Great. <laughs> That did not do as much as I was hoping. Yes, keep going for Mallow, please. Shit. Okay, I need I need to heal now. Can't have Mallow dying on me. Well, at least it's not gonna counter, because I haven't attacked yet. Another 800, and Mario's dead. Fuck off. Okay. We're fine now. We have... It's just the chest head. Poison. Yeah, I can deal with poison. He still has a lot of health. <laughs> Dang. Oh, he does not stay in that form for very long, does he? That was really good. Well, it didn't. Actually, it wasn't, because Mario's debuffed now. That's fear. Although I don't think it did anything because I'm still poisoned. The chest head is honestly like one of the worst ones. Because he can't do shit. Okay, 900. I see like I'm on like, you know, Wheel of Fortune or something. 900. <laughs> um Just just kick the head with a shell. And maybe heal low low Malo. Yeah, there you go. Hmm? Okay, it's just doing lightsaber again. I think it's time for a star rain, or star egg, rather. Rock slide? Well, as long as it doesn't do, like, 300 of Mallow, we're fine. Yeah. Where is my star egg? There it is. Let's try a galaxy jump. Gotta do something to the body at least. Yeah, that's not terrible. Also, are we healing from the poison? <laughs> what? Did the game bug out that bad? His poison is healing me for some reason. Okay, thanks for the healing poison, I guess. <laughs> Alright, Cosmic Star. The body has to be close to dead soon, right? Nine hundred, yep. That's good. That's some good damage we like to see. 
And we're kind of fucked now, actually. We're really fucked. Because now the tank head is back. That's not good. Alright, well we gotta go for a supernova then. Hopefully we can get rid of the body. That'll get rid of less of our... We'll get rid of some more ease of ours. Okay. Guo can't move. Okay. That's good. We I like to see Guo can't move. Because now I'm... Um, we can literally just focus on the smithy head. And Gino is fucking dead. Great. Fantastic, even. Hmm. Two ice beam. That was like one of his strongest single target moves. Yeah, 800. Alright, we got a free turn. Mario taking a bunch of damage, but whatever. Well, I don't want to take any chances, I'm gonna heal him. Alright, bye tank head. <laughs> Are you mean to jump, by the way? Yes, you are. Okay, fuck you, then. Are you mean to ice? Okay, fuck you, then. So Mario's kind of dead weight, then, in this phase. Wait, his body's back? Oh my god, are you fucking serious? His body can come back? I did 10,000 damage to his body and it goes away for, what, like two turns? Wow, okay. So, good to know that that's completely useless then. Getting rid of the body doesn't do much. I was kind of hoping he'd, he'd get rid of his body for the whole fight, you know? Six thousand. His, his fight's almost done. I have a lightsaber, bro. You're not a Jedi. I love the yellow arrows, that's really cool. Four hundred, okay. Oh wait. Okay, so he only respawns with what, a thousand health every time then? And he's regenerating. He's trying to get his health back. Maybe this, maybe this head is a lot worse than I thought. Can you stop? Bro attacked like five times there. Okay, I, I out damaged his heal then. I'm kind of glad to see a different head besides that. Two thousand! Oh my god! Smithy's gonna die in no time now. And he gave me good RNG too. Eight hundred. <laughs> wow. 
Yeah, keep doing that. Wait, why did that put me to sleep? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> why do I get put to sleep, bro? Also, can I jump on this on the magic head? Yeah, it's not a mean it jumps, so that's good. Alright. Let's do a star shower. He has to be close to death soon. No matter no matter Jedi shit can save you, buddy. This is getting pretty exciting, man. Four hour stream, by the way. Or wrong move. That was good. I did more than my normal jump, at least. Yes, we did it! We fucking won, bro, let's go! That was, that was Mario RPG Masters. Let's go. Evil Smithy. I love Smith. I love Smithy's head just staring at you. He was like, "Huh? You thought I was dead?" I mean, nobody, nobody's gonna question the uh, the mass amount of Smithy heads in the background. Nobody's gonna question that, even though people have been questioning that for years. But whatever, who cares? <laughs> Yeah, this- this hack definitely challenged me in a lot of ways I wasn't expecting. Like... I'm surprised at, like... The difficulty is kind of all over the place in this hack. But I guess that's not a bad thing. Like, it starts out pretty challenging, like... Mac was kind of tough, uh, Croco was a little tough, the Hammer Bros especially were tough. Um... Below especially, I think, might be the hardest fight in this game. At least one of the hardest. Um, what else? Like, like once I got to, like, Roseway, the game kind of softened up on me a bit. And then, like, I guess Bowyer was okay. He wasn't too hard, honestly. Moleville Mines was a decent challenge. And then, like, once I got to Booster Pass, I eventually found the Galaxy, the Galaxy Blast. And that was unintentional, by the way. That Galaxy Blast was not supposed to be there. It was supposed to be a Star Carol Cola. But the dev forgot to change the item. So I ended up having a very easy time up until, like, I think, uh, Seaside Town or so? Because I was just spamming Galaxy Blast the whole time. And then the, the challenge kind of, like, softened up until Star Hill. Star Hill, it started to get challenging again. And then, like, Sunken Ship is always, like, a big difficulty spike in the vanilla game. So that was also equally pretty challenging still. And the bosses were pretty piss easy there, though. The enemies were pretty hard. Like, the weird thing about this hack... Oops, hit my mic. The weird thing about this hack is that, like, the enemies... Are your biggest like threat not the bosses <laughs> the enemies are the hard part not the bosses which is just kind of weird like all of the enemies are um like really dangerous for some reason i'm not sure why that's the case <laughs> like for example all the enemies in the factory have like four thousand health which is just weird because like Smithy has 30,000. 
So, like, an enemy has, like, a tenth of Smithy's health. I guess that's not too weird, but still, you know, the enemies take... They're, they're absolute damage sponges, and they take forever to kill, which is... I don't know how to feel about it. It's kind of weird. Because, like, I feel like an encounter with an enemy should not take you more than, like, two to three minutes. But most of those enemy encounters, they were going on forever. Because the enemies, they got, like, two turns at a time. And, they, like, the enemy attack animations are just so slow in my RPG that, like, you don't want an enemy to attack multiple times per turn. Because it really fucking slows down the game. And also, like... I, I do like all I do like all of the uh like some of the unused enemies showing up like radish and you know some of the new enemies like the blue amanita those are those are pretty neat enemies and they definitely made the game a lot harder which is good I also liked some of the boss recolors like punchinella was green Mac was purple Bowyer was blue like I love that stuff Really missed opportunity to have Uranovich be yellow, though. I don't know why his color wasn't changed at all. It's very strange. I mean, the creator did say there is going to be a potential gold version in the future. So, Dev, if you're watching, uh, change that. Make Uranovich yellow or something. Make him a different color than red, because that's boring. And... I feel like, um, some tweaking could be done in, like, Roseway. Maybe make Roseway a little trickier. And, I don't know. I don't know, here's the thing. I don't know if there's a way to fix, like, the whole bug with, like, the, um... Like, status is not work- the status immunity is not working. Because that's- that's such a weird problem, like... I put on an, a piece of armor, and it says, like, hey, it makes you immune to fear. And then I still get feared for no reason, and it's really stupid. Like, the statuses are just all over the place in this fucking hack. And, I mean, it's a nice challenge, because it definitely makes the bosses harder. And half the challenge came from the... Ironically, half the challenge in this game came from the pieces of equipment not doing what they are supposed to do. The, the, the Half the challenge came from the equipment bugging out and making me, like, still get feared and shit. So, yeah... So I just find that kind of I just find that kind of funny how the status is bugged out and they ended up uh, you know I still get ended up getting afflicted with them anyways. The only one who was you know actually immune to everything was Mallow. Mallow ended up being immune to everything, and that's kind of what helped that fight. That that, that kind of carried that fight because. Smithy kept on targeting Mallow and killing him, or, well, trying to kill him, but he was immune to KO, so, yeah. Fuck, uh, Magnum, by the way. That move's annoying. But, um, I mean, I didn't expect there to be a post-game, because, you know, that's just kind of an Armageddon-only thing. But I am a little disappointed there weren't more, like, unused enemies. Like, Drill Bit really should have been in the game. I really wanted to see, um, I really wanted to see, like, some other of the enemies, like, maybe Master Blasta. I thought Master Blasta would fit right in, in the factory, honestly. Maybe that's just me. I feel like Master Blasta would be a great enemy to have there. Because it's a very, it's a very threatening, monochrome-looking-ass enemy that I feel like belongs there. Um, uh, maybe, um, what are some other enemies? Uh, there's the Super Spike enemy that's still not used. There's an unused Goomba in the game. Well, obviously you don't need an unused Goomba in the factory. But I just think there could be some more unused enemies throughout the game. And that's one thing I've really- I always really loved about, um... I always really loved about the, uh, what you call it. I don't know. <laughs> I also noticed there's a Thwomp in the game, but that's also an unused enemy as well. And the fact that the Thwomp was lowercased implies that he might have actually ended up using the Thwomp at some point. But I guess not. I guess the Thwomp dish is still not used. Because <laughs> I ended up making a Thwomp uh, enemy in my Mar Luigi RPG hack. Because there are some interesting enemies that I put in my hack. 
yeah, as shitty as my Luigi RPG hack is, it's not very challenging at all. Like, I slightly adjusted the stats and I gave the boss different spells. It's, 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 a, it's a remix rather than a hard mode hack. And there's a couple new enemies, like the Silent Vile and the Fire Bro and stuff. So, there, there's a few new enemies like that. So yeah, shoutouts to the remake, making the first half sprite-based, and they actually made it 3D. Which is one thing I really love about the Mario RPG remake, is that they really, really go hard on the fan service. <laughs> I feel like they go more hard in the fan service in that remake than the TQID remake. But man, what a wonderful world we live in where we get Mario RPG remake, one of my favorite games, a TTYD remake, another one of my favorite games, and a brand new Mario Luigi game. Like, fuck, fuck Nintendo. I don't need anything else from them. I got what I wanted. I got what I've been asking for for the past, like, eight years. I got a brand new, <laughs> I got a brand new Mario RPG game and two remakes of the best Mario RPG games. Because we already gotten through Superstar Saga remakes, so we already gotten our Mario and Luigi remakes. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. All right, well, I guess that's gonna be it for now. Um, I'm glad to finally be done with this hack. I don't think there's anything else left to do in this hack. I think, like, there's nothing else. Because there's no secret bosses or nothing. So, yeah, I think we're going to just call it here. So, yeah. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. to on YouTube and Twitch. And um, I'm going to go have my lunch because I'm fucking starving now. I guess I'm going to have some yogurt first. And then I'll have some pizzas. So that's the nice thing about having something different for breakfast. You get to have the pizzas later. Because <laughs> why not? Anyways, um, let's just let's just see those fireworks. Boom. Some damn good 16-bit fireworks, I gotta say. But yeah, um, my, I'm not gonna do, I don't think I'm gonna do another series. I don't, I might, I might, I, I might, there might be a few little, like, side games I can do before, uh, Persona 3 Reload DLC comes out. But, I'm gonna do Puyo Puyo 4, I'm, maybe, maybe I'll do a Mega Man game as well. I might do, like, Mega Man V or something. I'm kind of thinking about doing that. So... We'd have, like, a few nice short games we could finish in, like, the span of a week and a half or so before... Actually, I think it's two weeks before the Reload DLC comes out. Am I right about that? Uh, let's see. Yeah, it comes out in two weeks. So, we're gonna have to do... We're gonna do some, like, shorter games before Reload DLC comes out. Because I'm gonna be playing that. That's gonna be pretty long. It's gonna take me, like, a month probably to beat. So, yeah. But uh, I will see you guys later for potentially some PVZ, potentially some Infernax. We'll see what happens. If none of those happen, then whatever. Fucking ignore what I said. See you guys later.